Hello friends, today we will learn selection of proper size of perforated type cable tray. I let you know the required material and accessories for installation. Here we need perforated cable tray. Second C channel and thread rod which is used to hang cable tray. Third fastener which is used to fix thread rod in the ceiling. There is a different size of fastener available in the market. We will choose which will compatible with thread rod. Fourth one spring nut washer and roofing bolt here you can see spring nut which is fixed inside c channel then tighten the other end of the thread rod fifth one earthing jumper this earthing jumper used to connect between the junction of two cable tray to provide the route of earthing current towards main earth bus bar now i am going to calculate proper size of tray so first we need to know the total number of cable to be laid in the tray Second, size and overall diameter of each cable. Once we calculate the size of cable tray, then we will add 20% extra space provision for future use. So today we will learn cable tray size calculation for multi-core cable and single core cable. Things we need to keep in mind while calculating the proper size of tray is space. Yes, space between cable to cable. For multi-core cable, we will keep space between cable to cable is equal to the diameter of bigger size of cable. It will be more clear if you see this layout. Here D is the diameter of cable. Since both cable has same size and same diameter, then we will keep space between cable to cable equal to D, which is the diameter of cable. Then space between this cable to flange of tray is equal to the half of the diameter of cable. That is D by 2. This end also same D by 2. Then we will keep 20% space for future purpose as I said earlier. Now for single core cable, we have here trefoil arrangement. Trefoil arrangement means three single core cable laid together with different phase like R, Y and B. So if we have to lay two set of trefoil arrangement in cable tray, then the space or distance between two trefoil arrangement is equal to the double of diameter of bigger size cable. Here you can see these are two trefoil arrangement and distance between two trefoil is equal to 2D that means double that is double of the diameter of each cable and the distance between trefoil to flange of cable tray is half of the diameter of cable that is D by 2 same way we will keep distance half of the diameter and then 20% extra space for future use. Now let's see example to get more understand. Here example is that find cable tray size which will carry 4 core 300 mm square and 4 core 50 mm square cable which outer diameter is 4 core 300 mm square this is copper XLP PVC armored cable the diameter is 66 mm and the another cable 4 core 50 mm square this is also armored cable is its diameter is 33 mm. So, if you select 300 by 50 mm size cable tray in case 1, then the arrangement is like that. This is width of the tray that is 300 mm and this is the height that is 50 mm. First cable laid 4 core 300 mm square and second cable laid 4 core 50 mm square. And the gap between these two cable is equal to the diameter of bigger size cable. Here bigger size cable diameter is 66 mm. So we will keep space 66 mm and this side we keep space half of the cable diameter that is 33 because if we calculate half of 66 it's become 33. Now this side we will do the same procedure half of the diameter of this cable that is 16.5 or take a round figure that is 17 mm. So these all are our initial cable tray size calculation. So we will add all values. Initial cable tray 33 plus 66 plus 66 plus 33 plus 17 equal to 215. If you calculate these all values, you will get 215 mm. But here I did not add 20% extra. So if we add 20% extra, then the final cable tray size 215 plus 20% equal to 258 mm. So we can go with 258 mm breadth. But size not available in the market. So what we will do? We will go to the next bigger size which is available in the market and that is 300 mm. That means in case 1 we have selected 300 mm width. That means 300 width is okay. 
Now we will check the flange height. The formula to get proper height is height of cable tray is greater than the, the diameter of biggest size of cable. Here we have selected 50 mm height as you see here and the diameter of biggest size cable is 66 mm. 50 is lower than 66 mm. Here cable diameter is bigger. So this height is not suitable. We need to check bigger than 66 mm and the next bigger size is available in the market is 100 mm. That means selection of cable tray will be 300 by 100 mm. So 300 by 100 mm is okay. The selection is perfect. Now let's see one more example. Find cable tray which, cable, which will carry following cable that is 4 core 35 mm, same armored cable, it's dia 28 mm, 4 core 50 mm square cable, it's dia 33 mm, 4 core 300 dia 66 mm and 4 core 240 mm cable, uh, it's dia 60 mm, 60 mm. All cable is armored type cable. So you can see the arrangement, we followed the same rule. Here you can see I mentioned all the diameters of cable here and the distance between cable to cable also mentioned here. I'll let you explain how how, how we get this value. This 14 mm, 40 mm because the diameter of cable is 28 mm. Distance between this cable to flange is half, half of the diameter of cable. So the diameter of cable is 28 mm. So I'll take here 14 mm and this and the space between 4 core 35 to 4 core 50 mm square cable is 33. Why I take 33 mm? Because bigger size of cable is 4 core 50 mm square. So I will take the bigger size of cable diameter. That's why it is 33. Now I'll move to another cable. The diameter of 4 core 300 mm is 66 and 50 mm square cable is 33. So the bigger size cable is 66. I will take a space between these two cable is 66. Now I'll move to another cable. 4 core 300 mm square and 4 core 240 mm square. So in this case, you can see the bigger size cable is still 4 core 300 mm square. So we will choose the distance between these two cable is 66 mm because 4 core 300 is the biggest size of cable. Now this side we will take the same. Uh, we will take half of the diameter of this cable. The distance between cable to flange is half of the diameter. After that we will take 20% extra. So if you calculate this all values, you will get 396 mm these are the initial value initial cable tray size but we need to add 20 percent extra for final cable tray size so after calculating 20 percent it become 475 mm but the 475 mm width of cable tray is not available in the market so we will select the next higher size of the cable tray which is available in the market that is 500 mm now let's uh, calculate the height of the cable tree. The formula is the same. Height of cable tree is greater than the diameter of bigger size of cable tree. So here we know bigger size of cable is 66. We should take the value greater than 66 and greater than 66 uh, is 100 because 100 mm is available in the market. So next bigger size of cable tree available is 500 by 100 mm. So we will go with 500 by 100 mm cable trays. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe this channel. We will meet in next video. Thank you.